one of these uh, typical Sunday afternoons where in fact it's too late in the afternoon to start something and too early to stop. So I'm playing around now with rivets and then I thought why not share it on YouTube. So today let's talk rivets. When we say the word rivets the first thing that comes to our mind several times is this kind of pop rivets. Now they're really handy to rivet in blind holes but I think they're not beautiful and then for these pop rivets I have this uh, weird thing here and as you can see you need really big hands to be able to use it so the guy who invented this I don't know maybe he was a giant I'm not so not pop rivets here on the table I have a few steel rivets now this come from my grandfather my grandfather he was a blacksmith and sometimes he riveted things and this you can use cold or hot whatever you want now I think this little mushrooms here they're really cute and then you have this flat head rivets oh this is very soft steel these flat heads and this smaller one too so these are really easy to use cold I think the most beautiful rivets are copper rivets let's try to get some out here now these little packages they are at least 40 years old so in fact there's more museum pieces than something else these come from my grandfather too and then you see you have all kinds of copper rivets but of course we do not have the size we need so what we're gonna do we're gonna make rivets ourselves as you can see I already started to play around a bit these two are these uh, soft steel rivets from the black box I showed you these uh, very small ones and this is uh, rivets I made out of electric wire very easy to do I will show you now I think this is a nice way to put for example a label I made this uh, little label here and I want to put it on my this uh, used to be a CD player but I think something like maybe uh, steam engines or whatever to put labels on I think it will be way more beautiful to use a copper rivet than use a bolt and a nut now imagine I want to uh, reinforce this little piece of uh, sheet metal I made this uh, well, I think it's four millimeters three or four millimeters I, I don't know uh, to reinforce we're gonna put some rivets and hold it together and I did put some black paint on it so you can better see the difference here we're gonna make um, conical rivets and this will be the mushrooms the dome rivets I did a little bit of research on uh, the internet and there's re really not much to find the do-it-yourself rivets there's absolutely nothing to find so now I have to remind me a little bit what my grandfather the blacksmith told me these are the two parts of course we want to hold together the copper rivet if you take the diameter of the rivet the length stick out 
will be 1.5 times the diameter. Let's make it diameter. Voilà. Clear for everyone. Voilà. Diameter 1, 1 1.5. About. You will see that when you cut off the wire, of course, this is going to form a little bit of point. So the dimensions will not be exact but th that's okay we hammer a, a little bit more and we will survive before we do whatever operations with uh, electric wire or other kinds of wire we're gonna try to straighten it out now I think an easy way to do this is to put one end in the vise Take whatever pliers, put it the other side, put one foot on the workbench, and we pull. And with a really thin wire, you will see that it's straightened out a hundred percent. Here is 95, but we will straighten it out with the hammer. I took a piece of scrap metal, whatever piece of uh, steel will do, and in here I drilled a hole. I'm gonna put my wire in that little hole, cut one and a half times the diameter of the wire, and then make it the mushroom shape. The question is, of course, how deep is that hole? The wire I use is 2.5 millimeters. We know that we need 1.5 times the diameter this side but also this side. So that's three times will give us uh, six, uh, seven point five. I think about something like this. The thickness of both work pieces together is 2 millimeters plus 2 gives me 9.5 millimeters. If I drill the hole in my piece of scrap, of course, we decount one time uh, head at the mushroom side because we have to make it so we're gonna drill a hole uh, what did we say minus 1.5 give us nothing eight yeah so this hole is drilled official depth no problem let's put this uh, scrap thing in the vise not uh, tied my fingers. Right, that's good. Put the wire in. Voila. With the pin hammer, we're gonna use the big side first, and the other side we're gonna use it to make the finishing touch. Let's do, and you don't hammer it, you just tappy tap tap it, that's all A beautiful little rivet now it's time to put the label on the CD player or what's left of it. Now maybe you've noticed but here there's a little bit uh, dimple I think you say. I made this just with the drill bit, turn slowly and then to round it 
I move my drill bit a bit like this. Now every purist is gonna say it's not a good idea because you're gonna drill your uh, kill your drill bits, maybe. But it seems to work. Now, if we put the label like this and the rivets through, and we can hammer it, not a problem if you are a hammer specialist. But what I gonna do? I gonna put all this upside down put my rivet in this dimple and rivet this side so if I miss with my hammer I will maybe touch this surface and not my beautiful little label surface little bit of cleanup I think that looks good you can also make a little dimple in a bolt or a big nail or I don't know what you see same system start the drilling and then move the drill bit around to round it out and then you can finish it like this the problem is you need three hands if your workpiece is really tight somewhere and well supported then you can use this one to finish it but in this part is a little bit impossible I could finish this side but of course there's no use if you have drawers in steel drawers not uh, wooden drawers and you can make labels like this to mark what's inside two little copper rivets I think that's a really funny Sunday afternoon project time to start part two of this one part video let's put this reinforcement on this uh, piece of sheet metal and we're gonna use the conical rivets I will show you how I make them here are some examples it's a bit hard to see of course on camera now if I use a jig like this one and we drill a little bit a hole here to make a dimple for make conical rivets we are gonna have a hard time to get them out because they will be just flush with the surface there's a solution for that I took two pieces of nothing bolt them together and just in between the two parts I drilled my 2.5 millimeter hole here and then make the conical shape with a 5 millimeter drill bit we're gonna put this one in the vise put a wire in and make rivets you may ask yourself why I make this uh, black with the sharpie is because of the light I was a bit blinded by the the light that shines on this uh, way too shiny surface so I blackened it same procedure we go with light taps we don't hammer it we just tap it tap tap because here this uh, rivet would like to bend in uh, every way so we're gonna try to keep it straight
There you have it. Beautiful little conical rivet. We're going to try not to damage this uh, surface, so we turn it around. Of course, we're going to put one of our rivets in here. Come on, rivet. I drilled only one hole. We're gonna drill the other holes after. It's way easier, of course. In the back side here, of course, I also make this little uh, dimple. Okay, a little bit of movement is possible. I'm gonna drill the other holes and I come back to you. Alright, and now comes the fun trick. I think it gives a beautiful effect, the color of the copper rivets in this uh, steel plate I don't know if it really shows up well on camera I'm gonna turn around a bit maybe like this I don't know so I don't believe uh, this was a really useful video because everybody knows this but for me it was really fun to end my Sunday afternoon so as you can see nothing special I suppose uh, most of you knows how to make rivets and other things so there was not really much to learn but I'm glad I was able to waste some of your precious time to watch this video